excites you the most? I guess just playing all the games <laughs> because you never know when it's going to be your last one. So I'm just excited to get out there every Friday and Saturday night, especially at home in front of our crowd. And the use of this new Jumbotron is going to be really fun. So <laughs> It's a new year for Bison's women's hockey. However, a familiar face returns to the bench. John Rempel is back with the team in 2019 after a year of professional development that included time as a guest coach with the Kootenai Ice and Fife Flyers. Probably a different perspective on certain things about uh, how to get the most out of your team. I think that was certainly one thing. How again, person, personality styles govern coaching styles. So I certainly took that out of it. It was pretty all encompassing for me. So it was, it was a good, good exercise for me. This year's squad returns just nine players who are on the roster of the program's back-to-back -back national tournament appearances. With that in mind, Rempel has gone back to the fundamentals throughout camp to ensure the foundation for the team's 10 impact rookies is solid. Uh, passing and pass reception is, is the big one for me. My coaching style has always been very smash mouth and very get to the net and play extraordinarily hard. I don't want to lose that. I want to mix in more poise and patience and skill into our lineup as these young girls come in here so they understand what that actually means. So if you can marry the two, then that's where I think you want to be. Leading the charge offensively will be fifth year forward Jordan Zacharias, who will eclipse 100 games played for the Bisons this season. She scored 12 goals in each of the past two years and will be relied upon to provide a veteran presence. So you kind of see what kind of culture and uh, team we had in the past couple of years. Um, our 96 and 95 age groups were just such great examples for us. Having that experience kind of helps you know what, what it takes to get there again and the type of adversity that we faced in those two years to get there. With a good core group that we have, it'll help show our younger players kind of what it takes to get there again. The blue line includes four players who have some form of Nationals experience. Among the group is versatile third-year Lauren Workington, a member of the Canada West All-Rookie Team in 2017, who already has over 60 games played in her university career. You know, a lot of them are ready for the jump, and, you know, I've, I've seen already that, you know, a lot of them are fitting in quite well uh, with the team, and I think we're gelling pretty well together. Um, but, yeah, I think it just stick to your game, and, you know, that's what got you here in the first place, so that's what, you know, you need to do to just keep going and to be in the lineup. In net, Amanda Schubert returns for her final year of eligibility after a stint in the Finnish Elite League. With well over 30 starts in her university career, she will be a valued leader both on and off the ice for fellow netminders Aaron Fargi and Caitlin Nall. Yeah, the mentorship piece is huge. I mean, we have a, a set of young goalies there that are trying to figure it out themselves. And, you know, she's a she's a good person to really look at um, because she's accomplished a lot already in her in her young life. So it's a, it's a good thing. For Bison Sports, I'm Mike Still. Hey Bison fans, get your season passes now at gobisons.ca to come out and support the herd at every home game. Go Bisons!